for the serious gamer. Hello, it's Snow from Rogue County Gaming again, and I'm here with another video game commentary. Uh, I had so much fun with the Day of Defeat one that I just couldn't resist doing another. So this time I'm here with Global Agenda, and if anybody listened to the podcast, they know that I had intended to do Global Agenda videos. Um, I have a weird problem recording this game. For some reason, my frame rate gets really, really low. Um, not unplayably low, but at points in the video it drops pretty low, once or twice. I think it has something to do with my hard drive. Uh, doesn't much like this. Now I kind of fail here. I uh, put up a turret in a really bad spot, and he they can shoot it from a hole in the, th the roof, the ceiling, that I didn't quite take into consideration when I planted it there, so that was a fail. Um, but I'm still going to shoot at some people. Still get some damage output here. Um, so, I've got a recon sneaking around me trying to destroy my stuff early on. Now their gate is open so they are able to attack. This is an attack and defend style map. Now for some reason this one was really easy to defend and I know some people have said there might be some sort of um, advantage to the defenders but I've never seen it quite end this easily so I'm not quite sure. They got turrets okay so guys. I left the voices in because I think they're hilarious. What kind so of <laughs> give it a listen tell me what you think. They have a little bickering argument here over turrets, and it gets pretty funny. What kind of turrets, please? They're gone. They got them. Um, the kind that shoot. The big ones that kill ya! <laughs> the difference between the two is if they're AoE, I'll use my AoE shield. If they're bullets, I'll use my ballistic shield. Well, aren't you just fancy? They were the personal turrets. No matter what kind they are, I just use I don't know, I just loved this conversation for some reason. It was just... Well, I want to survive the... <laughs> I don't know. Might. For some reason, it almost sounded like it was well, planned to me. Thing. Even though it obviously wasn't. Live on, kill another I don't know, there was just some about that I had to keep it in there. Um, I've tried to keep the volume a little bit lower so it doesn't overpower me, but... That was a little incursion, so... Hope that was pretty interesting. But here's, here's my problem. I, I start to get a little bit of frame rate drop there. But... Um, so this map, I'm playing as a robotics, for anybody that hasn't played Global Agenda before. It's kind of like a FPS RPG hybrid, although it's more in the action RPG kind of genre. Um, it is a shooter, you do I click to shoot, you have to aim, you have scopes, you have things. But you also have items <laughs> and abilities. Um, as a robotics, Sorry I can you know put up these shields and make no, turrets and make healing things. Um, my weaponry is not as strong as, let's say, the assault class, but I can... I can do things to shift the environment to our team's advantage, such as these defensive positions here. All right. So um, the game is class-based, kind of like a Team Fortress sort of setup, but there's a little bit more RPG going on. Uh, there is gear, there is PvE, there are like instances and raids and stuff like that. Minute, so it's kind of like, I, um, I don't know, it's pretty good. It, it kind of merges the genre as well. People who like the idea of an MMO, but they don't really like the elves and fairies and dungeons and auto attack, uh, they might find something to enjoy here. This game does do PvE pretty good, um, at least as good as you can expect. Now I get kind of cocky and I come after the other robotics here and I'm not going to be able to kill him in his own territory. He's got a healing thing and a turret there. So I run back and go back to my territory. Now, um, I don't know what that was, that was just another interesting... Uh, commentary from the other gamers in the I server but cool. so here we are we're still just defending we're not really they're not really pressing any hard attacks yet they're just still kind of sending a couple waves and it's really easy to defend um, I'm trying to get a good turret up here I've been kind of slacking on my turrets so I build a rocket turret which if you haven't been able to tell by the video they're extremely you know, effective they the pretty much two shot people who aren't in like super amazing gear or like level 50 um, but I lose the turret again from poor placement, and I'm almost dead. So, I'm not doing that great on the support roll here, but I am, I am doing pretty good. I'm not running around and dying. Uh, I do have some medic bays up and stuff. So I come from behind here and try to do a little bit of a flank, and I catch one guy off guard here. And I get one kill, I get an assist, um, I get two assists there I guess from the same guy 
And then I take out this guy, but he's being healed by a medic, and I just slap him once and get away. So there's a couple kills, a little bit of a flank, mess them up a bit. Uh, but I need to get away now, get to these medic stations. And the interesting thing about this game is that um, the PvP is obviously a central aspect, but there's a lot of other things you can do too. I mean, if I wanted to, I could be doing dungeons right now to get new items. But items don't play a huge role in the PvP, but they, they, they will. I mean, if you're wearing the worst stuff ever and there's a guy wearing the best stuff ever, you'll notice a difference. But it's not like it's totally impossible to catch up. So um, it, it has a token system, much like uh, current World of Warcraft, where winning PvP and doing dungeons yeah. gives you tokens that you can buy gear with. So... There's there's no catch up. You just kind of play at your own pace. I I don't play very often. I'm actually only level 22, but it's a nice um, it's a nice game to go to once in a while. Now this is kind of bad. I don't know if you've noticed, but all of our defenses are destroyed in the room. So now it's kind of like us just trying to defend this. I can't kill this medic. He's being healed and he just barely gets away. But um. Yeah, so now they control more of the room than we do, but they're not doing a very good job of just cleaning us up. Our people are still here. And in fact, I'm able to come up behind and aid my teammates here by taking out the medic. Uh, now, when a robotics hits you with his mace, it does like a power sap thing, which drains your energy. So uh, that's pretty cool. I don't know how effective it is, but I know it's pretty cool. Now, I realize we only have like a minute left to defend this. And so I place a turret. This is the only turret I place the entire match that does a good job. Only because they didn't see it, though. I mean, there's people flying all around it, running all around it. They don't see it. And look at that. Starts to send people away. So the turret, um, we have turrets on all sides now. And I am going to use my ultimate ability, which charges up over the course of you dealing damage to people. And it puts a shield in my little area here. A big bubble shield, similar to the one in Halo 3. And so now we can easily defend this for the next 12 seconds. Everybody's got their stuff rebuilt. And yeah, this was really easy to defend. I'm not sure whether the other players were just... I don't think it was map balance. I've played on this map before as defensive lost. So there you go. Um, here's the mission accomplished screen. We see you get experience, uh, you get credits and tokens. Tokens used to buy gear. So thanks for watching the video. Hope this is perked your interest in Global Agenda, and check out more commentary later. Thank you.